Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Little Big Adventure. Um, let's jump right back into the game. So last time we managed to get all the way to the Temple of Boo, or Bu, which is sort of a notorious... Um, it's notoriously difficult part of the game, really. So I'm a little bit scared, but we're just gonna continue our game, see everything. If, yeah, here we are, this is all right. So yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping for the best with this, but it's, it's not easy and well, we'll just see how far we will get today. If, we can get through the temple in this in this session then i'm quite optimistic about the rest of the game because this is by far the most difficult part i think um we're now heading into the temple so far it's it's all rightish although death is still at every corner but it's actually this next screen, which is, has a really brutal opening section. Oh, the, the stuck coins is... Uh, can I... Can I get to them? Yeah! Oh, and it's worth it, because it's 50, 50 coins. That is quite good, actually. We have 113 now. Oh, we only have one life. Hmm... Hmm... Will this be problematic? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so the goal right now in this screen is to get through this door. I'll, sh I'll show you this. Um, this is the door we need to go through. And the way to open the door, which is already kind of clear from the, from the way it's laid out, is we need to put something on here. But, uh, yeah, we can't just stand on there ourselves because then the door will close again. So we need to find a heavy object which we can push onto onto the thing and it's it's right over here at the end of this temple section so we're just gonna go right past there are slightly discolored tiles and if you step on one of them the what is it a monkey the, the monkey statue will spit fire towards you so we don't want to step on to those tiles um yeah for now for now it's all all right just go through here we're just fetching the the heavy object now and then once we have it we have to push it all the way back so that's that's another fun challenge um here the the circle some kind of weird stick comes out it's like a plant maybe and it starts shooting well, things at us which are bad. <laughs> so we don't want to get hit by those, but I think we can manage if we just steer like this. So now we need to open this door, but that's not all. We need to open another door up here, but we have to watch out a little bit because actually, yeah, as you can see in the top left, there's a, a rolling spike thing coming at us. If we had just run into the stairs then it would have hit us and we would have been dead now now we've avoided it so this is good as you can tell i've done this before i've i think everyone who has uh beaten little big adventure has probably done this temple about i don't know dozens of times probably because yeah there's just death at every corner and if you mess up you have to start at the beginning of the temple again so well, this, this gets some training in. This is uh, actually a pretty difficult section and I'm not entirely sure how to approach this other than the, just to hope for the best and... Oh, no, 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 run. Oh, no. Oh, shh. <sighs> okay, that was silly. So we're back at the start, as I was saying. <laughs> This temple tends to uh, need a few attempts. Oh dear. 
messed up the opening jump. And yeah, we're on our last life now, so that's actually a bit unfortunate, but we can fight these uh, skeleton things if we want to. There's really not much point because, I mean, they'll just respawn, so. Oh, what was that? Oh. Come on. Come on. There we go. Stop, stop dodging. Stop dodging, skeleton. Just be, be dead already. You're already dead, technically. Oh, and it has a lot of hit points, doesn't it? I think this one has more than average, actually. There we go. Thank you. Okay, let's not mess up the jump this time. This is good. With the heartbeat sound effect really driving home how tense this section is actually. All right. Made it onto here. Jump over the spikes. Run past our objective to fetch the heavy object. Watch out. There's actually uh, an updated version of this game out. I'm not sure when it was released exactly. I believe it's called the Enhanced Edition. If you go onto Steam now, you can find um, a new version of this game. And I heard the other day that they have um, turned off the the wall running uh, damage thing. So if you run in the new version and you hit a wall, you don't take any damage, which you do in the original. So that's a nice quality of life improvement, probably. I think they've done some other things as well to help you aim your shots and jumps, which probably is the hardest thing in this game. This is the original though, although yeah, this is the Gorg version, but it's the American version of the original, so running in DOSBox. There we go. This is the second door open. Now we'll go in and try to dodge those what are they even? Just make it through here if we can. Okay, take a little break. Uh, hmm. They're spaced out like that, which makes the timing a little bit difficult, but hopefully we... Oh, this was too optimistic. Oh dear, we're game over. I'm not sure where the game brings us back to now, actually. Maybe we can load a game and save from the start again. Continue saved game. Yeah, this is pretty good. And we now have to... Yeah, so actually this is as if we have started again. Oh. Okay. I think the trick is to just take it really slow. Think about all your moves ahead of time. Don't try to rush it. Don't try to... We don't have to kill him, but it's a bit difficult to time the jump properly if he is coming for us. It's not impossible, but it's definitely easier with him out of the way. 
Come on. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Now we've got him in a good position. There we go. Okay, let's line up this jump in a good way. I think it's easy to be slightly, to have a slightly uh, off angle, which is hard to judge. Which this is this is what makes the jumps kind of hard to judge because you can't actually see how you're facing. Um, yeah. This is one of the things I believe the Enhanced Edition improves because it, I think it shows a little uh, dotted line of the path you're about to jump so you can judge where it will land better. Seems helpful. I don't think it's unfair to make this stuff a tiny bit easier because Ultimately, the reason I like this game is just because the story is cool and it's cool to go through all these... Uh, well, to go from, from zero to hero, as it were. Like, you're, you're, you start in a prison not knowing anything and, and by the end you're... You know, you've fulfilled the prophecy and you're... You're all powerful magic. Uh, is, is, yeah. I mean, that's just a nice progression. And that's, that's what makes the game fun to me. But all these... He's oh, man. All these little hiccups don't really enhance that much. Is it there already? No, there it is. So, there we go. Run out of the way. Let it pass. There we go. And this is just the first screen, remember? I mean, the second one is the hard one for me, so... <laughs> okay, let's not be stupid this time. Nice and safe. Not take this one at an unfortunate time. Maybe now? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. actually, this is good, this is good, this is good. And we're good. Okay, we have made it. We'll not go for any extra items or anything. We're just happy to have made it onto here. This is the heavy object that we're looking for, which is currently in a similar, uh, put on a similar pedestal as the one we have to put it up to open the door. So we'll just take it along with us and push it down here like this. Now. We can actually nudge it off the wall, I think, if we push it like this. Yeah, there we go. So, oh, try to get, try to get unstuck first, then try to get behind it. Yeah. Okay. This is good. This is just a little bit tedious, but I mean, I'm okay with a little bit tedious. I don't think this is the most frustrating thing in the game. It's all the instant death traps. That's, <laughs> that's more of a problem. Okay, let's store it over there for now. That's good. Now we have to work these switches and I don't remember which one does what, but I'll just start out. Ah, this is actually the one we need. So this is good. We'll walk over here. Yeah, now the platform has landed so we can load this up onto it. And now we press the switch again. Like this. Now we need to um, press the other switch, but we can't. We came in through here, but we can't actually go back like this. As you can see, we can't quite make that jump. But that's okay. 
There are a few ways to do this. I believe you can stand on the platform and hit the switch with your ball, which is one way. But the way I generally like to do is just jump onto this little... Oh, jump onto this ledge here if we can manage that. There we go. And then from here, we can actually make the jump over to there. Like this. And now we're, we have access to the second switch. When I first played this, when I was about 12 years old, I think this was the point where I eventually got stuck on. Because I didn't know how to make this work. So I kind of stopped playing for I don't know how long. Eventually I picked it up again, like half a year later or something like that. And then I did manage it and I really felt very proud of myself. <laughs> Which is one of the reasons why I really like this game. Because I actually managed to beat it back in the day without any walkthroughs or help or anything. So yeah, just a lot of poking at the game, a lot of trying, exploring just spending hours with it really okay now these guys have woken up uh, let's see if we can hit them from here there we go this is good these guys don't dodge which kind of makes it easier because yeah the reason why we were hitting the other one not as often was because they were jumping out of the way but these guys just come at me so I can just keep my aim. Because aiming the ball is really hard. You have no idea how it's gonna... How it's going to go. So you have to first really throw and then adjust accordingly. Just, yeah, trial and error really. Okay, see if we can get behind this. Or maybe we can just, yeah, hug it into the wall a bit. There we go, like this. All right. Hilariously, now comes the hard part. <laughs> Boom. Okay, some extra damage there because the game hates you. Okay, this is... This, I'll, I'll just try and see how it goes. The goal is um, once we enter this um, this hallway here, uh, another one of those spiky rolly things will come after us, which means we can't stop. If we if we stop running, then we're dead. So we have to keep on running. But as you can see, there are some holes in the floor. So we have to move around and jump the holes while running. And if we make the jump somehow, then we can quickly uh, flip a switch, which will make the spiky thing roll out of the way. So, yeah, let's let's just give it a go. See how it goes. There we go. Thing engaged. Oh, and yeah, it's failed already. Once it's failed, there's really, I mean, honestly, the best thing to do now is to just uh, die and try over. But oh, I'll show you this this section here anyway, because we're now down here. It's quite a long detour. Uh, can we hit the switch from here? Come on. Come on, there we go. Don't, don't, yeah, this is good. This, that is not good.
Okay. Can this open? No. Okay, so we have to go down here, it seems. I don't remember this, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, it's that bird up on the pillar, which will fly around. And I think we can hit it with the ball. I'm not sure how to do this section. Come on, bird. No, this doesn't work at all. I think there's also an enemy here. Yeah, there is actually. So... Maybe we can focus on the enemy instead. While avoiding all the terrible spiky plants. So, where is the guy? Huh. He actually, he actually took some damage too. That's... I feel... Uh, I feel that's more fair. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah. Yes. All right. We have the key for the next door. I'm not sure if it also opens. I mean, we could open that door, but we did pass another door on the way here. Let's see if it opens that one as well. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Okay. Hmm. I tried to go down that ladder, but oh well. Okay, on to the next section. What is, oh God, what is this? Some kind of bizarre. Okay, I truly, I truly don't remember what to do here. Can we hit the eyes? I feel we should hit the eyes, but I'm not sure if that's even possible. just fight them? Maybe. Oh. Okay, what happened? Yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay. I say eyes, I don't know. I don't know what these are. Stop. Stop firing at me. Some kind of nightmare fuel. Okay. It's actually the enemies who are triggering the switches now. Yeah, come on, engage. Fight me, I... There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess we're going down here. Mm-hmm. And onto this elevator, which, ah, now we can try this section again, because that was actually what we were trying to achieve here. So the thing comes rolling again. I'm trying to be real careful with this jump. All right, run, 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 and then hit this switch. Woo! Wow, okay, now we have to be careful because if we if we mess up still, we, we have to do it again. And <laughs> I don't want to do that. So again, there are these discolored tiles, which you have to avoid. I'm being real careful now. I think we can just jump here and then... Oh, a secret. 
a secret switch which which was not colored but uh, still activated that's just that's just unfair i mean the whole game is kind of unfair but this this just made no sense all right next section um i would like to hit this but we can't hit it from there so i guess we'll just run past Another one of those death things. Uh, yeah, that's good. Another one of those uh, fireball shooting things, which I think is activated once we go through the stairs. I, I will just have to try to push on. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's see, where are we going? Yeah. It's actually a trap. If we go back to that first guy and, and then change the switch, then this door will close. And we don't want it closed, we want it open, so... Yeah, we're not falling for your traps, game. Um, let's grab this box here, see what it has for us. 25 coins. Actually, we're, we're taking quite a lot of money from this, uh, from this, what is it? Uh, dungeon, I suppose. Um, let's see, how do we work this? I think we move over here, and then we throw the ball to change the switch, see where the panel goes now, where the platform goes. Yeah, this is good. Okay, just made it. Now we can flip it from here, yeah. Okay. I'm hopeful now. I mean, we have done the most difficult part, which doesn't mean we can't die still, but yeah, this was definitely the hardest bit. Um, we can throw our ball here and then jump onto the platform like this and make it to here yeah let's i mean if we go down here to grab what's in the box then we have to do it again but it's actually not so bad so let's let's grab it okay seven arts can we go behind this yeah we can actually all right. But we'll still have to do it again. Oh, the fact that we could go behind that meant that we <laughs> could have gotten it from the start. <laughs> we didn't have to go through all the, the platform things quite yet. But All right, we'll do it again, game. Why not? Okay, calling the platform now. Jumping onto it. Uh. Mm. Can we just throw it like this, maybe? But then actually we have to switch it again. Oh, why? Why am I on? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> we want to be here. And then we can jump onto the thing. Okay. 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 Now we're going ahead careful to not jump or fall off rather because we have to make this jump here and actually land on the ridge and not besides it so i think like this should be good maybe yeah all right we have made it i do sense more danger here Uh, yeah. OK. 
Okay, avoiding the rocks there, that's good. Um, now we flip this switch, which opens the door over there. And that gives us access to another one of those statues. They're statues of me, aren't they? So I think this is driving home the point that I am the the heir, the, uh, the yeah. This is all my destiny. How how do I go down those stairs? I not like this. Just trying the same thing again. That's not good. Okay, here. Oh, there's another rock. That's always fun. And if we go in there, there's actually. Ah. Doesn't he come out? Okay, there was a guy hiding there. But apparently he only comes at you if you actually go there instead of just responding <laughs> to attacks from a distance. Okay, um, this is a puzzle. And if you remember when we were back at the library, someone told us uh, from a page ripped out of a book, uh, it said pull the middle lever once and then pull the right lever once. So that's what we should do here. There's no indication that that is related to this. You should just remember this, I suppose. You can totally also just fiddle with the with the switches a bit until they line up like this, but it's easier if you if you just do what they intended to do. Okay, now we're up here. This looks like an excellent place for another trap, maybe. No, no, we're good. Okay, made it to the second statue. Drop it down here. We'll go down as well. Try to get it unstuck from the walls. Yeah, this is good. All right, push it onto the thing. It's not quite on there yet. Yeah, there we go. All right, onto the next section. This could have gotten a lot worse, I can tell you. Because now we've actually reached the end. Um, the guy in the desert asked us to get a book from this temple and the book is right there on the pedestal. It's guarded by these skeletons that are walking around guarding it. But they're quite far apart, so I think we can just run for it and... You've just earned the second level of magic by finding the Book of Boo. Nailed it. Uh, and, and the funny thing is now that we have the book, now they start worshipping us. <laughs> so now they are no longer enemies, but uh, we're now their god, I suppose. So, yeah, that's good. And what the book does is it allows us to read these um, these scriptures, these, uh, what do you call them, these plaques that we... There's also one below our house, if you remember from the first part, uh, but there's also one here, so let's... This book is a keeper of knowledge. It allows you to read the rocks and to talk to the animals. Ah, and to talk to the animals as well, so that's fun. So, yeah, we can now... We can now talk to animals and we can read those uh, inscriptions. Seems useful. And also it mentioned we got uh, the second level of magic, which means that our magic meter has now doubled in size. So we can throw more balls uh, before it depletes. And the ball is also a different color. It's now green instead of yellow. And that means that we can now uh, attack a new level of clone. Because before there were only certain clones we could attack, the yellow ones, but now we can attack the green ones as well. Ooh. Okay, it seems we enter another bizarre dream. Or maybe this is actually real, I don't know. It's a floating... A floating temple with the symbol of, of Sendel under it, which is the goddess uh, behind this whole legend. 
So I guess we are the harbinger of Sandel to defeat uh, Von Frock, the evil dictator. Yeah, let's report back to the guy. Tell him that we got the book for him. Here's your book. Yeah, here's your book, guy. Only the heir could have survived in that temple. You were the chosen one that the prophecy spoke of. You are worthy of keeping the book of Beast. Twinson, it will allow Twinson. you to decipher the runes and to speak to the animals. The prophecy that must be accomplished is also revealed in its pages. You must overthrow Dr. Funfrock, the despot who has destroyed the harmony that once existed on this planet. In my dreams, I saw him profaning the well of Sendel, which caused the immediate destruction of this world. You must go to the well of Sendel to save us from Dr. Funfrock. I don't know where this well is, but your ancestors must have left instructions for you somewhere in your home. Mm, indeed. Good day. You are the heir that the prophecy spoke of, Twinson. Find your ancestor's legacy hidden in your home and pursue your quest. Come back and see me sometime. All right. So, yeah, I guess we'll go back to Citadel Island to our house. And we can now read the, the texts that are hidden in the cave under our house. We can also talk to the animals, by the way. And I believe there was a horse in this screen. So let's talk to the horse just to test out our new skills. Here, there's the horse. <laughs> Hello, horse. Good day, horse. <laughs> Hello, Quetch. Did you know that there are strange noises coming from that symbol on the rocks? Mm. Okay. Well... The symbol he's talking about is up here. This one. Which is the Sendel logo. But we can we cannot actually interact with it at this point. So yeah, we'll come back to that later. For now, we will just go back to our house and see what our ancestors have left for us. Uh, try not to get killed here. Back through the army camp, back onto the boat. Hopefully we can manage that. Try to not get shot here. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, this is good. All right, the guy's just fishing, fishing there, waiting for us to return, which is good. Good day. I can get you where you want to go for only 10 cases. Where do you want to go? Where do I want to go? We want to go to Citadel Island because that's where, to Citadel that's Island. where our house is. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. It's kind of cool how we're um, exploring all these different islands. I always like that in a game. If there's a larger map and you get to explore all the different lands over the course of the whole game. But to me, that's, that's more of an exciting adventure than just staying in one place. Some games, yeah, just sit in the same spot all the time. It, it feels less adventure like to me. So, okay. This enemy actually just says, please continue, so we'll not, we'll not engage if we don't. We don't have to fight. I mean, if they're not aggressive to us, we don't have to be. This guy just starts shooting, however. <laughs> oh, and there's the, the evil device. So we'll just run through the park. And down here is where our house is. Um, now we have to get back in through the chimney. 
because the door is still boarded. Oh. So I think we can go... Oh, this is actually no good. Or is it? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, God. Maybe I'll just kill you. Yeah, this is a lot better. Okay, so... Do we climb up here? I think... No, we don't. Uh, let's see. Where was it? Because the door is still bricked up, so we can't go in through there. The color stuff I, I mentioned before, our ball... Our our ball was yellow at first, and you can see this clone is mostly yellow. So that means that we can actually kill him with uh, the yellow ball. But there are also uh, green enemies. And now that we have the green ball, we can also kill those, but we couldn't before. Okay, so here's another yellow clone waiting for us. Oh, and it starts shooting at a <laughs> at an impossible angle. Yeah. Let's get him out of this loop. And see if we can hit him from here, mate. Oh, no, not like that. Not like that. Definitely not like that. Okay, this is good. Try to get some shots in while he's down. Yeah. Take that, clone. I always like it in a game that you feel um, you get more powerful as you go. I mean, we started in a prison with absolutely nothing. And now we are onto the second level of magic. And we, yeah, we're starting to really acquire some power. And that's uh, also we're not, I mean, in the beginning, everything was kind of new and we didn't, didn't know where things were. But by now we're getting sort of familiar with our surroundings. So we feel more in control. That's I don't know, I, I, I enjoy that that progression a lot. Okay, so here's the chimney. Which gets us in the house. We could use some more health and magic. So the house is also a good place to stock up on that. in the plants? I can't believe there's nothing in the plants. I just have to align up better. Yeah. That's right. Hmm. Well, let's check out the... What, what do you call those? Little table... Little side table thingies for the bed? I don't know what the word is. Isn't it interesting how it's two beds, by the way? I mean, I've been calling... Um, my partner, my wife, I think they're married. That's my impression, but maybe not. They're more than roommates, but yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. Ten hearts. Now that really helps. Over here is usually some money. So, that's good. It's a bit tedious that you have to stock up on items all the time, but yeah, you really should keep your your meters up because otherwise the game becomes even more challenging than it already is. Hmm, five more coins. So, yeah, it's just part of the part of the game. I'm afraid. Okay. So now that we go down into the mysterious cavern, I think we can read this text now. So let's see what it says. This room contains information and weapons that were amassed for generations to help the heir who will one day be chosen from our descendants. 
The key to the room was passed down from generation to generation, but our ancestor, Hegesipa, was the last family member to retain the key. Nobody knows where Laborn's treasure, which undoubtedly contains the golden key to the room, is today. Okay. Um, there was a bit of the audio missing there. The I don't know that that just wasn't recorded maybe they added some more explanation text later um but yeah it seems this hekasipi family member was the last one to have the key into this room but then uh now it's part of pirate laborn's treasure so okay this is uh, something to investigate for sure so yeah Let's let's learn about Pirate Laborn. Um, and as before, the best way to find out things is to go to the bar. So let's go to the bar again. Let's see if anyone knows anything about this Pirate Laborn and this treasure, which hopefully will give us the key so we can enter the room below our house. Oh. Oh no. This was a mistake. Actually, maybe not. Huh. We'll go through the neighbor again. See if he has anything new to say. Probably not. Maybe he knows about the pirate. Good day. I would like some information about Laborn, the pirate. Yeah, the pirate. Try over at the port. All the sailors knew that pirate. Hmm, that's good advice. My son and I fixed the yeah, we know. flap in yeah, your Yeah, you already talked to us about that before. Um, try at the port is good advice, but we're still going to the bar anyway. Can't, can't hurt to get some more information. Right. We are going to close this tavern down. Get out of here. Hmm. Some kind of raid is happening. Some kind of, I don't know, government stepping in to close down the tavern for some reason. This is no good. Ah, and as you can see, this clone, the, the elephant one, that one is green. So since we now have the next level of magic. Okay, don't. Please don't take all that damage. Yeah. We couldn't have hit him before, but now we can. Uh, not if we go about it like this, though. Oh, God. Oh, man. Okay. Didn't really approach that in a great way. Let's... We are going to close this tavern <laughs> down. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's try this in a little better way. Oh, is that better? It's not. Come on. Oh, this this misfiring is such... Okay. This is a lot better. Okay, so we have the key now. Which is the key to this cellar. But... You know what? Let's beat up this guy too. You're going down, old man. Boom. Right, so order has been restored. Let's see what the barman says of that. I'm sure he's happy with all the my intervention. Good day. I would like some information about Laborn, the pirate. Ask the sailor. He would know who Laborn was. Right, okay. Thank you for preventing them from closing down my tavern. Yeah. If you see something of interest in my cellar, please. Help yourself. Right. Okay. Well, we will do that, actually. Because we now have the key. 
So we can go in here. And it plays this threatening music as if it's really scary down here, but it's but that's actually nothing. There's just some items for us to grab, so. Pretty epic item fetching music. Oh. <laughs> oh, the hero. <laughs> Heroically falling over as he walks down the stairs. Uh, is there something in here? No. This is good. More things. Something in the barrels? Yeah. Okay. I hope there's some money too, because that's really the only thing we actually need. Okay. Yeah, well, you can't have it all. Uh, and down here is something really useful because there's another clover box. So we now have four potential lives, of which none are currently filled. <laughs> Maybe we should do something about that. Because we're now constantly on the verge of game over. All right. And now the bar has been filled with patrons again. So everything is back as it should be. Uh, I think this is the sailor he meant we should ask about the pirates. So let's ask him. Good day. I would like some information about Le Bourne, the pirate. Ask one of my colleagues working in the warehouse on the port. He'll know about this laboratory. Hmm. All right. So it seems that the port is indeed the way forward in this case. Which is fine. We know where that is. It's right down here. If we can get past the stupid surveillance vehicle and the guard. Just keep on running. Right. So we're now at the port. Got the key again. Because the enemies just keep respawning it, it doesn't really make sense to me to, to beat them every time. I mean, this enemy you have to beat, otherwise you can't get into the port. But other enemies, I'm, I'm okay with just running past because they'll just reappear anyway. Nothing here, it seems. Let's ask this guy. If you still want to take the ferry, I can sell you some tickets for only five caches each. I print them up myself. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good price. I mean, for a fake ticket, but still. Okay, I'll take them. You have a ferry ticket. Great, thanks. Uh, yeah, do you know about the pirate, though? Good day. I would like some information about Le Bourne, the pirate. I know that Le Bourne had some kind of a captain's log written for him. He was practically illiterate. And the boss of the tavern on Principal Island knows where it is. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, on to Principal Island then. Which is just the next island which we've visited before. Welcome aboard! You have picked a wonderful day for traveling. The weather is beautiful. That's great. On board with the Ark again. Is it the Ark 1 or the Ark exclam exclamation mark? 
I think it's traditional to have a number with a with a boat name. So it should be the Ark One, I suppose. Sailing to Principal Island again. There we are. Another sailor. Let's ask him about the pirate. I'm interested in the story of Leborn, the pirate. Yeah. Go try at the Old Berg Tavern and talk to the bartender. Hmm, we were going there anyway, actually. Right, so it seems this tavern is the way to go. Uh, once again, we have to get through this checkpoint. I'm not sure if the new magic level has actually made the ball more powerful. I don't believe so. But, I mean, we can kill more clones now, but I think it takes as many hits as it did before. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now the old work is up here. Let's hope they are not driving the tank around today. Yeah, this is good. So, actually, before we do that, we could head over here. And if we go back to the water tower once more, we can replenish some of our lives, which seems like a good idea since we're running really low at the moment. So, let's wait for the soldier to leave his bike. Where do you want to go? And we'll drive to the water, the water tower. This is a great song. I mean, the whole the whole soundtrack is really good, but. This is a really good song. I think this is actually one of the theme songs, maybe? I'm not sure. It's just good, that's what I know. Oh. Down into the water tower. Not actually interested in changing the taste this time. We're just interested in gathering these lives here. And some hearts along with it, because why not? So the bad thing about the respawning is that the enemies respawn, but the good thing about the respawning is that the items respawn as well. So we can just go down here again and get some more lives and hearts. So now we're full, we're at full lives and full health, which is a lot better. Where do you want to go? Pegleg Street. Back to Pegleg Street, please. Uh, yeah, there's a soldier again. Let's see if we can actually outrun him. We can. really need more hearts but you know you just can't tell what these uh, bins will produce okay so to get to the tavern we have to go up here and then up through the gate which was opened for us and then it's right over here actually so this is the tavern They say that the tap water tastes better now. Great! Another publicity stunt from the Anti-Alcohol Foundation. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is, Elephant Man. Let's 
try to talk to this bartender who is actually actively walking away from us, it seems. Can we get to him? I'm interested in the story of Leborn, the pirate. Leborn? Since he didn't know how to read, he had his cook write the captain's log. Hmm. I know that it is for sale at the bazaar next door. Oh, at the bazaar. That's great. So, we'll head over to the bazaar next door. How are we doing in terms of fuel? We have five fuel. Let's buy some more fuel. Two. Welcome, dear customer. I don't have any more cherry flavored syrup, but there's a pharmacy open on Citadel Island. Yeah. <laughs> Move in front. We, we know. We've bought things here before. I'm interested in the story of LeBorn, the pirate. Yeah. <laughs> you too were looking for a treasure? Hmm. Well, I sure once had an old dusty book about LeBorn, but a customer bought it this morning. It was a rabbi bunny. I know that he works over at the library. Hmm, the library bunny has bought the log. Okay. Well, that's not a problem. We know where the library is. And actually, the is that the same rabbi bunny who, who we... Yes, for ten voyages. Cost 30 cash. Okay, is that the same... I'll buy. You've just replenished some of your gas supply. Yeah. I think that's the same bunny uh, who showed us the book... Uh, to the legend. So, yeah, that's, that should be fine. We're good friends. He'll show us the log, too, I'm sure. Okay. So, the library. Is down here. Actually, now that we're here anyway, we can also talk to this um, to this guy here by the by the prison. Oh, well, not like that. Oh, come on. Um, yeah, we can actually talk to him, and that is kind of fun. It's not. Without danger, though. But yeah, let's let's give it a go. As you you can you can barely see it, but there's yeah, there's this clone up there. Hmm, I'm not sure how to hit him right now, from where we are standing. We can take out this soldier though, if we can aim right. Which is easier said than done with this game. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Um I'm not gonna grab that thing immediately. Because once I'm down there. What are they, what are they doing? Stay information, lads. Dr. Funfrock's headquarters. Access is forbidden. Ooh, okay. Um... Can we... Can we take out the machine gun from here? That's not so straightforward. Ah. There we go. This is perfect. Okay. So, if we can... Let's see. Align our shot with this guy. This is very good. All right. Uh, now we can go in here.
we could have just jumped in all the time, but then uh, there wouldn't have been a way back. So now... I'm interested in the story of Leborn, the pirate. Yeah. So I know you're in prison, but can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help hmm. you, except perhaps considering the risks you have taken, I guess I can trust you. Yeah. I was arrested on this island, but earlier on I gave a fake rip card to my brother <laughs> who was living on Proxima Island. Hmm. He will give it to you if you say a moth to him. The location of our house is now indicated on your hollow map. All right. So Proxima Island, that's a new location for us. So far, we've been on Citadel Island, Principal Island, and the White Leaf Desert. But yeah, now we, now we have a location on Proxima Island. So that's... That's always good to gather these new these new locations so we know where to go. Just have to remember to say Amos or Amos, I don't know. Can we oh no, not like that. Yeah. Okay. And we're out. We're not going in further for now because we just don't have the yeah we don't have the goods to take on Von Frog right now. It seems this is his HQ though, so that's interesting. For now, we were going to the library, which is right over here, of course. How are we doing in terms of money? Hmm. 143, huh? Yeah. I'm I'm contemplating if I should uh rob this cash register. I think I've already decided that I'm going to do it. <laughs> so yeah, we're just doing outright crimes now. Uh he Calls the alarm. That's okay. We'll just move out of the way. And then a guard comes in. Which we can take out. If we aim right. Big if. Ah. Oh, come on. Come on, ball. Hit, hit the guard. way this is a bit finicky is it worth it doubtful but we're 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 committed now <laughs> all right yeah this is a bit dodgy ethically speaking but look we just need the money okay and sometimes when you need the money you just have to commit crimes. <laughs> That's the lesson this game teaches children. Okay, let's find the rabbit guy. Actually, I think he is down here. There he is. Doing librarian things. Good day! Come this way! I'll open the door for hmm. you. Hmm, actually we don't need the door opened, but okay. I'm interested in the story of Leborn, the pirate. Yeah. My dear sir, I have been looking for Captain Leborn's log for years mm. now. And would you believe that I found it today while shopping at the old bird? Wow. Naturally, such a piece should be consulted on site. Go look on the table in the back of the room, next to the projection room. Ah, he's got it on display now. That's good. So, I guess he's going to open the door. 
but we're not interested in reading more about the legend. We're interested in reading about Le Bourne. So the back room, which is over here, besides the projection room. So the projection room was over there. And so this is the table then. And this elephant is reading it, I suppose. I'm interested in the story of Le Bourne, the pirate. Yeah. Okay, I'll read you an extract from this book, if you <laughs> promise to leave me alone. What do you want me to read about? Hmm, this is very normal library business. Pl please read something to me. Um, pirate recipes, Le Bourne's treasure. Actually, give us some, give us some pirate recipes. Pirate recipes. As you know, this is a French game. Okay. And our respect for the culinary arts prevents us from revealing the ingredients used in pirate recipes. <laughs> okay. I'm interested in the story of Le Bourne, the pirate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll read you an extract from this book if you promise to leave me alone. What do you want me to read about? All right, tell us about the treasure. Le Bourne's treasure. Yeah. Do find Captain Le Bourne's treasure. The voyager who arrives at the port of Proxima Island must use the closest mooring post as a guide. With his back to the docked boats, he must follow these instructions in discreet mode. Six steps to the north, straight ahead. Then six steps to the east, to his right, following the gradual slope. Two steps to the north straight ahead, until he reaches the metal garbage can, three steps to the east, to his right, until he arrives at a light post. He must stand exactly between the two lamp posts, and then take eight steps to the north, until he arrives at a gate. Captain Laborne's treasure is in the building behind the gate. Right, so this is also on Proxima Island, interestingly enough, so it seems the game wants us to go there. Um... When I was a kid, I wrote all these instructions meticulously down, but it's it's actually a joke. It's it's really obvious. I mean, <laughs> there's a gate, there's a big building. That's where it is. So, yeah, we'll just go there. But thanks. Thanks, Elephant Man. All right. So... Hmm, let me think. I guess... We can go to Port Beluga now and yeah, just sail to Proxima Island. The thing I'm concerned with is that that will require some money and we have some money, but we don't have insane amounts of money, so Actually, I think we need a little more than we currently have. I think we should have gotten more from the temple, possibly. Actually, but... Oh well, it's too late now. I'm not, I'm not going back, that's for sure. So, I, I think I'll just drop the cash register some more. Because then... Oh. Let's kick his butt. Hope we can escape from this. Yeah, this is good. All right, I think we have enough cash now. Yeah, yeah, we do. Okay, this is good. This is fine. So, we're going to head to our trusty Port Beluga. Up. Up here. Through the military camp slash playground. Oh, no, wrong button. Isn't the soldier going to check up on his fellow... Huh. He is. Yeah, make way, please. Okay, we're immediately thrown into this hectic scene. Um, 
jump into the compound. And... Yeah, here's the buggy. Where do you want to go? To Port Beluga. Exactly. All right, so now in the past, we were able to ask this guy to sail us to places. I'm interested in the story of Leborn, the pirate. I read some of the captain's log. Leborn was ruthless. If you are still interested, the log is on sale at the Old Bird Bazaar on this island. Hmm. But. Yeah, the thing is, he doesn't want to um, take us to places anymore, so I'm not sure why, but he just doesn't. He doesn't offer this anymore. So we need alternative transport, which actually this... Hi, I just returned from a trip around this hemisphere, and I'm sewing my boat. Exactly. Follow me if you're interested. I am very interested. Uh, I, I'm interested in that money too, though. Yeah. So, yeah, luckily this guy is selling his boat, which is why we needed the money. So hopefully we can just buy our own boat and then sail as we please. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, this is it. Here it is. Like new, good handling and fast. This catamaran is for you. For 200 cash. Exactly. Great. I'll take it. Awesome. This is actually pretty awesome to own your own bright yellow catamaran. I mean, that's cool, right? So, yeah, we'll take that. But first, let's rob his house, though. <laughs> hmm. No money, but... Well, that's okay. That's okay. We are running really low on funds now, though, which has me worried a bit, but... Oh, well. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll just encounter more money. Where do you want to go? Ooh, this is a big list. Look at this. So we can sail to Citadel Island, we can sail to the White Leaf Desert, we can sail to Proxima Island, which is where we want to go. But we can also sail, sail to Rebellion Island and to the Hamalai Mountains. So yeah, this is three new locations it's giving us now. Um, Proxima Island. We're going to Proxima Island though. I mean, we have objectives there. We know, we know what we want to do there, sort of. Um, Laborn's treasure is there, supposedly. And also this imprisoned uh, rabbit's bunny... Uh, yeah, the, the... What's it called? The imprisoned bunny's brother. That's right. That's what I wanted to say. The, the red card forger. So... This seems like our sort of company. <laughs> Sailing into... Proxima Island Harbor. We do need to hunt for money, though. Ah, oh, this is not money. Um, yeah, let's explore the island a little bit. Go in through here. Is there nothing in the plant? Surely there's something in the plant. Yeah. Two, two coins. We're happy with that. money <laughs> I'm just going straight for the cabinets haven't even talked to him <laughs> so I'm looking for information about Leborn the pirate mm, I can't help you out. Hmm. 
someone made a mistake in the address and sent me this object by accident. It happens. It's a keyboard that opens a door at the teleportation center. This opens a room full of mecha penguins. Really? Well, thank you. <laughs> He's just giving this to me because, I don't know, I, I suppose he feels threatened. Thanks, thanks nonetheless. Okay. Did the coins respawn? They did. Yeah, we need to stock up on money. We need more money. Um, actually, if you follow the instructions, um, it's said to go to this garbage can and the the lamp posts, which is yeah, these are the lamp posts. So between the lamp posts and then straight on through the gate. So this is the gate, and then this is the actual building that we're uh, interested in. Which is... Maritime Museum Raids. Children, three caches. Adults, five caches. It's the Maritime Museum. More money, that's good. Let's read the poster. Appropriate attire required. Hmm. Well, I, I hope. This is appropriate. Also, you see that red slot there? I think, I think that's a red. Ah, uh, it's impossible to open without a red card. Exactly. So that's where we need the red card for. Luckily, we know about that brother who we can't enter. Um, well, we can actually enter if we buy a ticket. I'm looking for information about Leborn, the pirate. Yeah. Good day! A ticket for the museum costs five cashes. Mm. Would you like one? Yes, I'll take one. Yeah. Even though we're desperate for money, we're still spending like one th third of everything we own to enter this museum. This is very unfortunate. Oh. Yeah, this is no good, is it? No, this is actually inescapable. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know why I tried. I know. I know that can't work. Hmm. Okay. So... We're back in a prison. Not the opening prison, though. This is another prison. I guess the Proxima Island prison. Oh. <laughs> and helpfully, it just has a lift in the floor, which allows us to go down into the sewers. Right. Um... I don't know if you can see this, but there's a snake rolled up here. So, yeah, we're now, we're now fighting snakes. This is our life. Hmm. Okay. So if you go up here, we're actually back in the prison, but now we're outside of the jail cell. So that's an improvement. Bam. All right. Luckily, <laughs> look at him. The mechanic doesn't care. That's you've just rediscovered all the objects that are in your inventory. Very good. Very good. That's how these engineers are, aren't they? They just keep on working. They don't mind. Let's talk to them. I'm looking for information about Leborn, the pirate. I know that they have something about him in the museum. Yeah. 
Well, you can believe me if you want, but the museum is well protected. I just connected this button to the alarm system. The building is evacuated as soon as it is prepped. <laughs> Only one or two automatic guards will remain. It also sets off a series of sensors under the wooden floor that will sound the alarm as soon as they detect even the slightest wind. Mm. <laughs> you would have to be able to fly to move around in there. Right. So, yeah, we actually do need the ability to fly. Uh, this was also mentioned by Beatrice in, in the first part. Um, yeah. We need flying abilities. That's that's where we're at. Oh. So let's see how, how we can arrange this for ourselves. Uh... What's this? For reasons of security, this sewer grate will open only from inside the Maritime Museum. Right, so this is the exit from the museum, but you can't go in through this. So, yeah, I suppose this is where the, uh, where the key card comes in. So it seems we need the ability to fly and we need a red key card in order to enter this museum and uh, well find find more about this pirate. So let's let's try to achieve that. Oh. Uh, can we just walk past him? I think we can. Yeah, that's better. So, mm, 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 mm. there's this is really sneaky. There's a snake on the on the floor here. You can just make it out. It's like it's got one pixel sticking out of the the side of the tile. There, it's it's behind that little wall. So it's really sneaky. Easy to miss. Just an easy, evilly placed enemy. More proof that this game does not like the player at all. <laughs> but the player does like the game. So... Um... We can also go up here and then down this street. Although actually, before... I'm going to get some more money first because... We're so low. Should have gotten more money somehow. But, oh well. Come on. Ah, and it doesn't even spawn money. So it is random. All right, all right. Let's go up here. There's a teleportation device. And, oh. What? What's happened here? All right. So, yeah. <laughs> There's a massive hole in the wall. Jerome Baldino. Diverse gadgets and inventions. Perfect. So, yeah. This is the house of an inventor, it seems. Here is Mr. Baldino. Hello. I'm looking for information about Leborn, the pirate. Yeah. I know that they have something about him in the museum. Mm. I've been working on a jetpack prototype for days now. It's a small reactor that harnesses onto your back and allows you to fly about. My problem is that my last test flight wreaked a bit of havoc on the garden bar. It is rather difficult to fine-tune the motor's power. Hmm. I need a real stud, like the one you find in a hairdryer. Do you think you can find one of those for me? I'm, I'm sure we're going to try. I'm looking for information about Leborn, the pirate. 
I know that they have something about him in the museum. I've been working. He has a completely different accent in the in the second part. <laughs> okay. So can we jump through the wall? I think we can. Yeah, that's good. Right, so we need a hair dryer. And then he'll give us a jetpack, which, you know, that seems like a flying device. So that's good. Okay, let's go down here. Of course. Thank you. So that's the key we need to get in here. I'm looking for information about Leborn, the pirate. My brother was arrested, and the house is under surveillance. Phony red card traffic. Right. Wait a minute. How did you get in here, and who are you? So this is the brother of the guy we spoke to earlier. My name is Twinson. I met your brother. He is in jail, but is fine for the moment. He told me to mention the word Amos to you. Exactly. Ah, okay. Then you might be this. You now have the red magnetic card. That's awesome. That's just what we need. Hopefully he has any, any good money on just one coin. Oh well. Better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, so now we have the red key card and we have a lead on the jetpack. Just going through pins now. That's how desperate we've become. Come on. Spawn, spawn something, plant. Oh. And preferably money. Ten, ten coins, that's really no good. Hmm. Okay. So, down there, there's a soldier sleeping. And there's the old man walking around again. Ah, well. One coin, it's still something. Okay, so the thing is that this old man... I'm looking for information about Leborn, the pirate. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. I've been trying to sell this hairdryer ever since I was on Principal Island. Right. Come on, I know you can use one for 30 caches. So, he is selling the hairdryer that we need for the jetpack, <laughs> but we don't have any money. <laughs> so... Okay, I'll take them. You don't have enough caches. See you later. Right. So this is, this is really a bit sad. Maybe the soldier has money. Oh, he actually does have money. Ah, oh, this is pretty good. Maybe we can farm this soldier a bit. And actually, does he have money on him? We'll just beat him up again. He'll just keep respawning anyway. No, he doesn't have any money. Okay. So... Hopefully the soldier has money every time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's gone wrong. No. Run, run, Twinson, run. Yes. Okay, that was very silly. 
That was very silly of us. There we go. He does keep spawning four coins though. So if we go about this a little more tactfully, then I think we can get a good, good amount out of him. Yeah, this is a lot easier. Another four coins. Which means we're on 23 now, I think. 27. And the hairdryer was 30, so one more time should do it. Yeah. There we go. This is perfect. I'm looking for information about Leborn, the pirate. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to sell this hairdryer ever since I was on Principal Island. Come on. I know you can use one for 30 caches. I can, actually. Okay, I'll take them. You just bought a hairdryer. Yeah. Okay, so now let's bring the hairdryer to the inventor. And then we should get a jetpack out of it. There we go. We have a hairdryer now. I'm looking for information about yeah, yeah, the Born, yeah. the pirate. I know that they have something about him in the museum. Mm -hmm. So you found the hairdryer. Great. Completely changes his accent minute. again. Just let me install the real start. Yes. Well, it's not a jetpack yet. It's still just a proto pack. I would appreciate it if you could test it out to see how it works. You should be able to fly over the water if you approach it from a gently sloping beach. Mm. But don't jump. Will you test it for 10 caches? Oh, yeah, sure. it's great. I can't believe we actually get. 10 caches to you use. now have the proto pack to use his proto pack i mean when i first played it i thought it would cost us 10 which still seems fair but no we receive 10 and and we also get a jetpack out of it and it's actually a pretty sweet jetpack it's right over here we can put it on and now we can just fly like this uh, yeah, we can just hover over the land. We can also hover over the water. And this will allow us to, uh, yeah, to rob the museum. Oh, there was five coins in that. We could have farmed that uh, recycle bin. That would, would have been easier than, than the soldier, but oh well. Doesn't matter. We're up to 16 coins already again. Thanks to receiving money for the for the proto pack and this, so yeah, um, I think this is all we need now to enter the museum and and do our crimes there, which uh, seems an excellent um, thing to do in the next episode. So that's it for now, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one, and and see see how far. We can we can make it to, into this game. I'm I'm just thinking how many parts this video will have. I have no idea. I don't really know in detail what's coming up, but I do think we're making good progress, and I feel like we're about halfway there into the game now. So I think another one or two parts should do it. Well, not one, but two maybe. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Anyway, I hope to see you next time. Um, yeah. Bye.